Make sure you never miss another upload by hitting that subscribe button, hitting the little bell to enable notifications, hitting the check mark, save, and remember if you enjoyed the video to quickly leave a like. In this world, wondrous creatures, dragons, and wizards all live in harmony. These sorcerers join together in four guilds, mastering all kinds of magics and spellcasting. Divinish Magia, Grimshade, the Wandering Coins, and the Protectors all compete in the Grand Magic Games to become the Paramount Wizarding Establishment. Welcome to Fairy Tale Origins. He, from the moment of my open eye, been looking for a guided light to lead me on my way. Yeah, lost, a struggle to make the top, a slipping grip can hold me up. It's the game of life we play. play, play. When everything comes crashing. Suppose, uh, the celestial bodies don't lie. I guess it's finally time, eh, first grandmaster? My first guild master. Alright, now I'm lost. I see how it is. When the stars align, it's time to revive him. I get it. It was always how it was supposed to be, right? That's how the old guild master taught me, and the one before that taught him. But it's time. It's time. <sighs> well. I hope this is the right thing to do. At least that's what I believe it is. Let's see. One tool. Two tools. And a crystal. The crystal that should hopefully be the proper catalyst. And I don't even know if I'm even worthy enough to wield the scythe right now. But once his body is merged with mine, then I won't have a choice. I'm sorry, Lilac. Sabrina, I... I wanted so badly to find you guys, but... It seems like this is the only option. I have to bring back the... I have to bring back the first guild master. I just don't have a choice. I'm just too weak on my own, and I think Eden might just be too strong at this point. I just... I guess it's unfortunate, you know? Ah, oh, this water's so chilly. Get out of here. Oh, sometimes moving a short distance. Albeit, not that short. It's a, you know few hundred blocks beneath the ground but um how else do I explain this <sighs> to my family I apologize I need to start prepping the, uh, the ultimate ritual maybe one day I can get my body back but I really don't have any other choice right now. I can't do this without the first help. You see, I don't... <sighs> Maybe, honestly, I failed the guild. Maybe I'm not even worthy to do this, but it's the only choice. It feels like every step I take is in the wrong direction. But I will no longer fail Grimshade. I'm gonna grab a few things from my old home. Quickly. Well, not really grab, as much as say goodbye to. Oh, Lilac. You really did pick the most perfect view. 
It's beautiful, really. And there's a pool nearby. And this is honestly probably one of the last times I'll see this place. And I hope that one day I can save you guys and at least allow you to live on. My heart honestly hurts to think about. But, um, I just don't have another choice right now. The last option and the last resort. And when, as the old Grimshade lore goes, once the stars are aligned, it's about time we begin the ritual transformations. Alright. I guess it only makes sense that I was a spirit user in the first place. It was always really going to be me, wasn't it? Couldn't have possibly been anybody else. Well, I should hurry and hope no one sees me. The lacquer was supposed to be a secret in the first place. And the last thing I need to do now is give away its position. Hidden in plain sight? That was Grimshade's motto for the longest time as well. So. <sighs> the city's beautiful and I. And I apologize to all the guild members already. But this is what I have to do. Alright, just prep this like this. And close that off. A little bit of magic. Start the work. And we're good. Is that, is that Michael? Ma oh. Michael? Uh, Grandmaster Jonathan. Um, Fancy. May I ask? Running into well, what are you? Here. Yeah, that's that's exactly my point. What are you doing down here, Michael? I'm reading. It's a library. It's the public uh, grand library. Actually, it was the public grand library until you sanctioned it off. Yeah, I know, but don't. Uh, are you sure you were reading? I just saw you messing around with that chest over there. Ah, the yeah, it's nothing. It's just where I keep a bunch of extra notes. Okay, okay. Notes, yeah. Doing I come research, down here and, as always. Yeah, I come down here and do a lot of research, too, you know? Like, this is oh, my yes. favorite section right here. There's a lot of there's a lot of knowledge on alchemy here, you know? I, I, this is where I picked up my vast knowledge on Gamer Girl Bathwater, right? Yeah. It's oh, beautiful yes. stuff. Yes, Very you're, beautiful stuff. Among many things, you're an alchemist, so... Yeah, of course. But, no, I mean, really, Michael, uh, mm. it's very surprising to see you here. I, I'm aware that the guild leaders know about mm -hmm. this place, but... For you to, for me to actually run into someone, mm. and of all people, you, hmm, it brings, makes me curious, you know. Oh, is that so? Yeah, you know, what, what, what were you reading, Michael? You mind, uh, you mind sharing what you were reading just now? Well, as you know, Grandmaster, I do indeed fancy myself a user of Lost Magic. That's God Slayer. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I tend to like to do research into different Lost Magics, such as... God Slayer magic, a Demon Slayer magic, Dragon Slayer magic, which can often be considered lost. Mm -hmm. And sometimes even things like Time Arc or who knows, maybe even copycat magic. Mm, copycat magic, you say? Yeah, that's that, that one's long gone. I haven't seen any copycat mages mm. in quite some time, and there hasn't been any word in any nearby, uh, any other parts of the world about copycat mages. So, you know, it's fair to say that trying to revive that lost magic was probably gonna be very difficult but anyways mm -hmm. you know you know uh well, time arc magic you know i think jakey mm -hmm. has that I, I know he does he needs to work on that still though for sure mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. so i've heard he's an inexperienced time arc user which is rather unfortunate and yeah. as much as i'd like to believe that copycat mages don't exist in today's world unfortunately i i am mostly sure that the man who killed reaper was a copycat mage so he was able to use yeah. my magic but yet not in the way that i use it yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. possibly. You never know. There's the uh, magic is very vast and very strange, you know. But extremely, yeah, it's a. Oh, is there something down here that you catching your eye? There's always something new in the grand library. It's grand mm -hmm. for a reason. I could probably of spend course. an eternity reading all these books. Uh, I have spent quite some time down here. Just this is where my happy place is. You know, this is where I. Mm -hmm. I I love. I just love reading. This is the knowledge is power. You know. Oh yeah, I can uh, completely imagine, you know, as the Grand Master, you don't have too many duties other than to keep the magical world in order, you know, us skilled and whatnot. 
making yeah, sure that kinda... our wizards do not do anything too rash, you know? Yeah, it gets kind of lonely, but you know, that's why this library, well, these books, you know, give it give it a little hug. They're, they're, th these are, th this is, this library is my, uh, pretty much my wife, you know? Oh, that's really weird, actually. Mm -hmm. Um, I have a living wife, or at least I suppose she's still alive. You wouldn't. Never mind. <clears throat> Yeah, no, I, I, I never found actual love, Michael. This might get a little personal, mm -hmm. but I never found actual love. But the one thing I did find love in is in books. In you know? knowledge. In knowledge. Do knowledge sure. is power. That's not completely wrong, that's for sure. Mm -hmm, it's one mm -hmm. thing to know a magic. It's another thing to be able to know how to use the magic. Of course. But um, of course. that doesn't mean that knowledge is meant to be shared all over the place, don't you think, Grandmaster? Oh, no. This is why I sanctioned this library off. There's some mm -hmm, crazy, mm -hmm. powerful books in here, and it's very worrisome if this did fall into the wrong hands. I Absolutely. think you could agree on that. There's a lot so. of very powerful, dark arts-type books in here. Magics that shouldn't be used anymore. You yeah, I, I think I think that one of the strangest things I have actually encountered in this library was uh, there was some sort of lacrima there's like there's books about mm. lacrimas all over the place there's books about legendary and uh magical weapons you know old old artifacts that have oh, probably yes. been hidden in the world oh, yes. for many centuries I, you know there's so many things i'd like to do because of this library but i just don't have the time for it and my uh, my body's a little old too you know so uh yes you're getting rather frail in your old age i really can't do much these days yeah so Weak, I'd be hard pressed to say. Um, but as I was saying, you know, there's a lot of magics in here that you know, tend to not be, it should not be shared. Don't you mm -hmm. think? Yeah, I, I agree. So, mm -hmm. uh, and when yeah. Grandmaster, I say to my guildmate, my guild member, that uh -huh. I wish not to teach him Dragon Slayer magic. I don't go and teach him Dragon Slayer magic. Where are you going with this, Michael? What's, you what's taught your... Mitch Dragon Slayer magic. Or at least you informed him what it's like. Of course I did. Even though I told him that he wasn't ready for it. Well, uh, just gotta take a step back here. Listen. Even though he's a second generation Dragon Slayer. And he can't well, learn Dragon Force. He's, okay, listen. Let me, you, do you even, uh, let me, give, give me a chance to explain this, okay? Listen. Oh, I, I'm... He, all ears, Grandmaster. I, I could sense that you're getting angry with me, Michael, but you know, it's okay. We have uh, we have knowledge all around us, and it's okay. Listen, That's he great. came to me. He was in mm -hmm. despair. He was upset that you were not sharing any knowledge. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. he came to my office, and he asked me for some uh, for some help. And I told him, you know, Gen 2 Dragon Slayers, it was specifically about the Dragon Force, you know. Mm -hmm. And he, I told him Gen 2 Dragon Slayers can't really get that power unless uh they actually find a dragon which i don't believe dragons are alive but um or so yeah, we'd so, like to believe you know so yeah exactly so for him to actually find a dragon, i didn't think like i told him the knowledge that he needs to go find a dragon and train with that dragon you know but there's no actual way he's mm -hmm. going to be able to do that once he actually pursues it i, I know that mm -hmm. don't you so think let's... i understood that and when i told him he didn't need to learn it you don't think I understood those as well? <sighs> Grandmaster. It's one thing for you to try... You're not supposed to interfere with the... With the interworkings of a guild. And on top of that... My young Shadow Dragon Slayer, huh? Uh... Um... <clears throat> you really have a thing for these Dragon Slayers, huh, Grandmaster? Well, what are you talking about here, Michael? What, 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 do you mean Colin? I mm -hmm. visited him uh, after the, the match. Yeah, he was injured, you know? Oh, uh, Colin said he visited you. Oh, yeah, yeah. There was the time before, way before mm -hmm. the match. He came mm -hmm. in. He he had a few questions for me. You know, I am the Grandmaster. Mm -hmm. I do have all the knowledge after all. So he Not. did come to me with a few questions, and I did have to answer it for him. But listen here. Listen, listen. Yeah, well, that's, mm -hmm. about, that's about it. I just answered some questions for him. I met him at the hospital after the game because he was injured, mm -hmm. and I spoke to him. You know, that's it. Like the, like the nice old man I am. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So why then? Why give him an inner magic ring and tell him it's going to suddenly suppress whatever's inside of him? 
did I do that? You know, my my mind. I'm getting old, Michael, and it's it's okay. Look at me. You mm -hmm. see? Do you, do you see my hair? I see your hair, Grandmaster. Do you see my frail body? I see a body frail that possibly is frail, Grandmaster. All right. So listen here, Michael. I am getting older, and uh, I don't remember everything. Maybe I have mm -hmm. Alzheimer's. I don't know. I, I, listen, listen. It doesn't sound like you have Alzheimer's, Grandmaster. It sounds like you're hiding things. <clears throat> and on top of that, you, he told me that you asked him to use all of his magic, Grandmaster, while you placed a card above your head. You know what cards yes. are for. Yeah, luck of the draw. They're... Luck of the draw? Blackjack. Yeah. What is you... that a mm -hmm. magic? Because I was assuming it's copycat magic, Grandmaster. What are you... Are you, are you trying to blame me? Well, uh, Michael! Do you, mm -hmm. Are you... Uh, 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 I can't believe this right now. No. Listen, I am the Grandmaster. Mm -hmm. I run Atlantide. I understand this whole situation with somebody using your magic, copying your magic, maybe placing it under whatever. Okay, listen mm -hmm. here. Okay. I, my magic with cards is luck of the draw, all right? Do you need me to explain that to you? I would like you to explain it, Grandmaster. It's literally as it sounds like. Whatever card I pull, that magic appears. Uh-huh. It's so, very random. So it's similar to Requip, but it's more probability-based. Yes, sir. That's what it is. It's very powerful at times, and other times mm -hmm. it's, it could be complete uh, oof. But it's okay. Oh, I see. So at any point in time, you could say, pull water magic or crush magic. And at other times, you could pull the worst celestial spirit in the celestial spirit realm. Yeah, exactly. Interesting. And it's yet... very sporadic. And I assume this doesn't include the ability to pull Slayer magic, no? Uh, I have not pulled Slayer magic yet, so I have not been. I can't really tell you. Maybe one day I might be able to if I, you know, my body keeps up. But mm -hmm. it does. The magic is very so. Depending on what magic takes place, it takes a toll on my body too, because you know, not everybody's ready for whatever kind of magic, right? Yes. So yeah, that's so that's like the downfall. That's why I don't like to use it too often. But you know, mm -hmm. even. I I, I, I I have to use it sometimes, you know. I, I'm a wizard after all, too. I'm a mage. Yes. I see. Yes. So you're saying that was your magic you were trying to use on an inert ring. Well, maybe the ring wasn't meant to be inert. Yeah, but the luck of the draw failed me at that moment. But I didn't want to, you know, let the poor guy down. He was hurt at the hospital. I had to raise his morale somehow. So just shh. I see. Poor kid. Mm-hmm. Well, Grandmaster, I, uh have more things I need to take care of. <clears throat> okay. Well, uh, you, uh, you got me a little worried there, Michael. I thought for an actual minute you were suspecting me for doing some uh, pretty shady things, sir. Uh-huh. Well, remember, Grandmaster, I don't take mercy on my enemy. What the? Well. Hmm. Whatever that means. When it turns right, I light up, ride off in sunsets, in Corvettes, like I'm the plug and you don't know. Oh, why, why, why? I do these things and